Polio. As we move towards eradication, we must do everything to make sure that once the disease is eradicated, it stays eradicated. Polio viruses will be kept after eradication for a number of important uses in a limited number of laboratories and manufacturing facilities. Polio vaccine will be needed for some years to come and key research using polio viruses, some to discover medicines and treatments for other diseases such as cancer, will need to continue. But handling and storing an eradicated pathogen is a serious responsibility. If polio virus is accidentally or intentionally released into a community, it could spread to once again cause paralysis and death. Highly infectious and tenacious, polio could return to paralyze up to 200,000 people per year all over the world, just like before polio vaccination. The World Health Organization is working with governments to ensure measures are put in place for the secure containment of polio viruses. Countries around the world have all committed to destroying unneeded polio virus materials and reducing to a minimum the number of places in which they plan to keep the virus. Any place that holds polio viruses must follow strict bio-risk mm. requirements and undergo a rigorous certification process mm. to demonstrate that they can safely and securely handle and store the virus. <sighs> Only then will they be allowed to continue to keep and work with the virus. Inspections and checks will help to make sure that containment requirements are maintained. With strong containment systems and safeguards in place, countries will reduce the risk of polio being released into communities. Containment is key to protecting today's and future generations from polio. Let's preserve the legacy built and work together to secure a lasting polio-free world.